What's the word, ladies and gentlemen? Well, in today's episode of Is It Worth It, we'll be talking about Sawbones. That's right, guys. A lot of you had asked for this one, so here it is. Is Sawbones worth buying? Whether that's with 30,000 credits or $7 USD. Well, to answer that question, let's look at what we're getting when you purchase Sawbones. First, He's, uh, he's American, which is always important. Ha <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Oh, God, I probably lost half my subscribers. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, stat-wise, he's got some decent bulk as a medic with 110 HP. However, he trades that for average movement speed coming in at 410. Now, for abilities, he comes with a large health pack, which is handy for healing friendlies on the fly. Uh, his secondary ability is the standard defibrillator, which is also great for reviving those down teammates. Now, for primaries, he gets a choice between three SMGs. The SMG9, the Krotzny, and the Blishlock. Of the three, I would say the worst one is probably the Blishlock and I would normally say don't fret too much if you got that primary because it's certainly still usable and all that stuff but taking a quick look at the loadout uh, it would seem as though most of the Blishlock loadouts aren't very good anyways uh, but as far as secondaries, Sawbones gets the assortment of low caliber semi-auto pistols which means the Calden, the Selbstadt, and the M9 any of these are fine as finisher weapons honestly now Sawbones gets a bunch of different augments that he can choose from, but the ones you want to look out for are definitely things like potent packs or get up as they improve your medic abilities. However, I would say drills, spares, and extra supplies are pretty half decent as well. Now on paper, Sawbones looks like a pretty average mercenary, you know, but when you start adding up all the small benefits such as 110 HP, uh, a selection of nice SMGs mostly, <laughs> um, and you know a good healing mechanism as opposed to Spark's crappy ass med packs, which literally consist of band-aids and neosporin for bullet wounds. I don't know what is going on with their med packs, but hey, it's okay, Sparks. We still love you because of your awesome reviver gun. Um, you know. With Sawbones, you end up with a really nice, offensively capable mercenary while still retaining that solid healing side, that solid healing attribute. Now, he's probably one of my favorite mercenaries overall. Definitely my go-to medic for any sort of uh, situation. For 30,000 credits, he's definitely a steal. For $7 USD, well, that's really up to you. But given the amount of use I've put into Sawbones, I'd say it's totally worth it. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. Leave a like if you did. Now, if you're new to the channel and this is your first video of mine you are singing, I've done a number of different like Merc reviews and things like that. So be sure to check those out if you're interested in getting a second opinion. Um, with all that said and done though, I think this just about wraps up this video. So until next time guys, I hope to see you in the next episode.